Hey guys, how's it going? It's going off grid. I'm going to give you guys a little update on how things have been going. We're pretty much fully charged. We are charging the car and running a portion of the house. We are currently running part of the house on grid just because there's a large stretch of really bad weather. So I'm just going to leave some capacity in the batteries in case the power does go out for a long period of time. And this inverter has been doing really good. See, we got 1800 hours, almost a megawatt. Hey, okay. yeah, almost a megawatt. Uh, I did run these for in between for quite a few weeks because this actually isn't quite powerful enough to run my house because my house is actually two houses. I have an apartment downstairs. Um, this can do 6,000 watts continuous, no problem, and it can surge over that, but when I'm running the dryer by itself, that's like 5,000 watts, it leaves me the 1,000 watts to run the house, so it's, it, it, it can't uh, quite keep up. That's why I have well over 12,000 watts here. Anyways, so maybe uh, maybe Sean will send me a 12,000 watt. Maybe I'll try one of those out, or maybe two of these. Anyways, Everything's working great. Absolutely nothing wrong with it. Uh, this is what I've been running. Oh, something kicked up real good. It's a temperature. Temperature is not even that high. This is how I have everything set. Usually it's quite quiet. I don't know why it went up so high just now. Usually doesn't do that. Like we're running 3,700 watts, and usually it's a rate around this. It goes up a little bit, down a little bit. There's my temps. Just charging the car and running projectors and computers and stuff like that. Everything in here is completely off grid. The garage is off grid. The living room's off grid. Uh. Still got the backup power jack. I scribbled out the one in front of the five because it can barely do 5,000 watts and it can barely do a 50 amps charge. I think it's more like 30 amps. And we got some stuff from battery hookup. Check it out. Got more stuff. So I am going to build a 12 volt battery for my diesel Jeep Grand Cherokee because I need a battery for mine and I don't want to buy anything other than lithium. So these are used. Uh, these were apparently were just floated. And so these, I guess, were tested at, I bought the 100 amp hour, or no, 90 to 99 amp hours. That's what I bought because that's the only one I could get where there's enough for um, uh, four. And these apparently can, can for a few seconds, do like a 1,000 amps or something crazy like that as long as they're compressed. Let's see, this is their charging graph that they sent with the batteries to show that they can indeed do 100 amp hours. That's pretty cool. Uh, to my door, let's see. I got some more I'll show you there after. But these, uh, it wasn't too bad actually with duty and everything to my house. It actually wasn't that bad. I live in Ontario. So if you are in Ontario, it's not too crazy shipping and stuff. It just depends on what you get. Like you got to... You put it in your cart, you go to the end, see how much it costs for shipping. Like, I hummed and hawed over quite a few different batteries. Um, I was going to get a bigger battery, but it would have cost way too much money in shipping, so I ended up getting these ones. This is just Battery Hookup's batteries. This is their own battery that they make. This just has, uh, I believe these are 20, 26 650s, I believe. So that's also 100 amp hours. These are much smaller. It's just these, these cannot start my Jeep. Like, max discharge, 100 amps. That will not start it. This one will, though. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put four of these in series. I'll put four of these in series, and then I'm going to put these with these in parallel. So these will take the, the surge, and these will just add capacity. So I'll have a 200 amp hour, or if I put all those, like an eight, I'll have a 300 amp hour battery. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the Jeep. 200 or 300 amp hours, but uh, that's going to be what these are for. Then the Jeep will obviously not have any problem starting ever. 
and I'll be able to put an inverter in the back and have a decent capacity uh, battery as well. Uh, yeah, that's about it. That's the update. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys next time.